Okay. Where are we as far as history of times, um, as far as the Christian is concerned, as far as the rapture of the church, as far as the last days are concerned? In Matthew 24, Jesus gave an outline of the things that were coming. And seemingly, Christ here uh, knew the order that they were going to come in because he talked about it. And I don't think he, he gave it away, but he did it in traditional prophecy form. He did it in sections and he talked about it uh, overlaying the same way that God gave it to um, Isaiah uh, to, uh, and, uh, and Ezekiel and Daniel. Uh, he gave it to these prophets here. Uh, to, to these, yeah, Jesus was a, is a prophet, but Jesus gave it the same way as he gave it to them in, in the old days. He gave it to this fashion, but Jesus put a little bit more form to it so we can get a better understanding. A lot of preachers talk about it, Matthew 24. Uh, not a lot of preachers go into detail about it because I don't, I don't think that they, maybe they don't realize this is it. I know, I know that God, or that this is the case, that it is laid out in this fashion. Maybe some do and just don't talk about it, but I haven't really seen anybody point to this as a greater factor of the last days and I want to tell you why verse 8 says um, and all these are the beginnings of sorrows now that is a that is a mark of time it's a mark of time and it's a, um, a distinction between what has passed and what's coming so we can go into Matthew 24 and we can we can see some great detail of what is coming for the Christian now and that's a good reason why that you need to be listening if you are a Christian this this talks about your future talks about my future and if you're a sinner you need to even lis listen even greater because this is talking about the future of a terrible terrible time that's coming upon people that don't listen to what God has to say why do you have to listen to God? Because He's God. He's not a man. He's not a. Uh, he's not another evil ruler someplace where is coming to take over your your will. That's not the case here. God um, is one that sits up on the throne in heaven, and He He has created all that you see here. He created you and everything that you are. He created uh, the pattern that you think and the pattern that you um, are going to think and the thoughts that you have had, the reason for those and and all of that kind of thing. And and I, I want to point to a, a specific time that we're getting ready to go into. Um, and, and if our government has their way, and I, there's no doubt I think they will, and I, I think this maybe this is going to be, they might be forced into it because, see, right now, both sides, uh, the left and the right, seem to be blind to the fact that the righteousness of the Bible is, is actually what's being attacked here through our government. Now, when, when uh, Donald Trump came on the scene, it caused all of those men to run to one side, all of them. Do you know what this is doing? It has, the GOP has died. When, when that happened, the GOP died. Um, which is, by the way, is a prophecy that the Lord told me that was going to come that I didn't fully understand, but neither did Daniel understand fully his. I didn't know they were going to fall. I told you about it. I told you about it before it ever happened. Before, before Obama won the first election, I had this recorded on my YouTube. Okay, but let's look at what we're going into. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations, this is verse 9, for my name's sake. And that's the way that we're going. Um, 
it's okay to be now listen how crazy this is it's okay to be a Muslim and the doctrine of the foundational doctrine of the of the Quran says that it's okay to kill without without a uh, without a cause of an offense the only offense that you have is being a non-believer it, it teaches that I pointed that out just the other day on uh, a YouTube As a matter of fact I've been talking to a Muslim on here about this uh, <clears throat> and, and and I don't go into blaming I just I go into detail of what the foundation of their doctrine is okay and I don't know a lot about that I'm not a I'm not near as good at that as I am what the Bible says our Bible but uh, but I'm learning I am quickly learning let me tell you because they're coming at me with all these details about what it says and then this is how I learn okay so uh, alrighty so our um, and yeah diversity is a good way to learn <laughs> Or adversity, I mean, adversity is a good way to learn. Um, shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Then they shall, uh, many shall be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. There's where we are right now. We are being betrayed. That's where we are. Christ told us this was coming, and they shall, uh, and shall hate one another. And that's where we are. We're in verse 10 now. We're in Matthew uh, 24:10. That's where we are. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Now, because God has made prophets like myself and has caused me to know these things, listen. There's a lot of people out there that's sharper than I am. And a lot of and and you're going to see next. You're going to see a lot of false prophets jumping up out. It's man. It's going to be like. Uh, harvest time for false prophets that's what you're going to see okay and because iniquity shall abound anger anger sin because iniquity shall abound the love of many will wax cold Jesus said and this is the storm that is coming to the church this is the beginning of this is the beginning of the of the uh, great falling away this Jesus Jesus tells us here about the falling away time and this gospel now listen to this but they that endure to the end the same shall be saved and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations then the end shall come now he is not talking about this end here is not um, um, the final curtain this this end is the rapture okay this is the end of an era Christ is talking about the end of an era a time where men never realize listen there is men walking this atheists today tell you that there is no proof that God exists you have no physical proof well this is the this is what Christ is saying the earth is going to receive physical proof because Jesus is going to show up here and take all of his people home okay and um, and I want to get back to this and the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations okay that has to be done first so that when Jesus goes comes in the rapture and people are left behind they will have no excuse for why uh, they did not receive the gospel because it's going to be preached with such a fierce uh, in acting with the Spirit of God. God's Spirit is going to rule in that day. I mean, yeah, there's going to be people still who hate God. There's going to be still people doing the same thing they're doing right now. There are going to be people running to and fro, buying and selling, just like Christ told us that it was in a, uh, happening in another example, and looking into all those things that, is, that are of the world, but in the same time that all this stuff is going on, uh, Jesus is going to send a... a a strong revival uh, one that's going to touch the whole world when this gospel has been preached you know, to all nations for a witness unto them listen right now there's nations that you can't go into and preach that you can't revival can't come there because 
there, there's no one has an anointing to go there yet. But God is going to do that. And uh, it says, And he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Now, okay, that is given a, a example at at the time or the beginning of the gospel, when the gospel is the beginning of the revelation, when that begins, there's going to be a lax period on the enemy. He's not, he's not going to be able to persecute the church for it, for this particular time right here. And then Revelation tells us the prophecy of John the Revelator tells us that uh, the devil will realize what's going on and begin to chase the church and and when you see that when you see the devil begin to chase the church that is um, uh, the Antichrist literally the Antichrist chase the church that's when it's going to be hidden away and that is the hidden away thing means rapture they brought up taken away up into the church he's into heaven now it's not a place where the devil can't see or, or where he know it, it, so that's and it was written correctly in the King James Bible so that he will know where they are but he just can't find them in, in the wilderness he, he knows where they are but he can't get to them amen alrighty and that's where we are today the great falling away um, is what God wants me to point to today and listen if, if you sin the Bible says we have an advocate with the Father if you sin, we have an advocate with a father. Uh, I'll never forget my mom. She got baptized. She was one to quit smoking. She knew smoking was wrong for her. She came home. She lasted every bit of three hours <laughs> looking at that pack of cigarettes. And as soon as she picked that cigarette up and began to smoke it, I could see it in her face. She thought her whole world had just fell in. And she used to tell me, lost your religion that time, didn't you? That is, listen, you don't lose your religion. If we sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Listen, when you stop having remorse for what you have done, you are in an extremely dangerous place. Jesus taught us about this. In the, in the parable of the, of the virgins they, that ran out of oil, Listen, when you run out of oil, you don't have remorse any, anymore in your heart. You hear what I'm saying? When you run out of oil, you don't have any, When you stop loving God, you run out of oil, and you don't have remorse. Amen? And you're in a dangerous place. Listen, He cares for you. He cares greatly for you. He cares greatly for His children. He's not just going to throw the baby out with the bathwater. And if you're in, if you're doing something wrong, man, go before him. Tell him he knows it already. He knows it already. Go talk to him about it, and let him help you through it. Amen. Church, let's get ready. Amen. Let's get ready. If you don't have Jesus, take him. The Bible says, "If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart, thou shalt be saved." Take his side, just like the thief on the cross took his side that day. Take his side. And believe me, he'll take years. All right, God bless. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time. Great message across in the middle of ministry.